Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight we're going to continue our discussion of the seven planes with a discussion of the monadic plane. And the term monad, which means one, uh, is a term that's used in widely differing ways in different religions and also in different traditions. In the Corellian tradition, which is of course the point of view from which I speak, we understand the monad as being to the soul what the soul is to the life. Just as every soul has many lives that come from it, so too the monad has many souls that come from it. Thus, you might think of the monad as being a group soul or an oversoul, and you'll find those terms used to describe the same concept. The nature of the monad and of the monadic plane basically has to do with the motive character of our incarnations, uh, the ultimate purpose of our particular group of souls in incarnation. And this comes from the character of deity at the moment at which that monad was created. And each of the different monads has a slightly different character, even though it is a microcosm of deity. For one of a better way to put it, a snapshot of deity at that particular moment in creation, each one has a slightly different focus depending on where deity was as this was unfolding. Uh, and so the monads uh, are a means of helping to understand the nature of our particular karma and the higher nature of our soul, although that's a fairly high level working. So those are some of my thoughts on the nature of the monadic plane, and until next time, may you blessed be. Come visit us at witchschoolstore.com and namaste.